as you drive across the countryside in Oklahoma, you'll obviously see uh, in a lot of hay meadows some big round bales being put up for winter feed to be used for those cows uh, next November, December, January, and February. I guarantee you that the variation in the quality of that hay is going to be dramatic this year and, and every year. So knowing what's in the forage is very, very key in terms of doing the proper job of supplementing that forage next winter in order to take good care of the beef cows and at the same time be the most efficient in spending your supplement dollars. So I really, really think, as boring as it sounds, that it's a good idea to get forage tests run this and every summer after you put up that hay to see actually what the quality of the hay is and therefore the amount of supplement that's going to be needed. I would suggest that you download a fact sheet written by Dr. Lawman here at Oklahoma State University called Supplementing Beef Cows. And in it, it'll give you some comparisons as to the differences in the amount of supplement that may be needed for the different qualities of grass hay that you stored and will feed in the winter time. Uh, just looking at that uh, fact sheet and, and doing some other calculations, I've been able to determine that uh, feeding the same cow in late gestation, the amount of high protein supplement may vary by as much as threefold just depending upon the quality of the hay that you put up uh, during the summertime. And so uh, it's very, very important to know what's in that hay and then match the supplement to the, the hay and the forage that these cows are consuming. Go also to the SUNUP website. That's sunup.okstate.edu. We'll have a link to that fact sheet there, as well as a fact sheet from the Plant and Soil Sciences Department on how to sample hay bales for the proper uh, way in order to get a good forage analysis. When you look at that fact sheet, it also has a list uh, at the end of many different forage probes that you can order and purchase. I'd really suggest, again, that you do some shopping and look at each one of these forage probes as a possibility. Some of them cost several hundreds of dollars, and so it depends upon how much you're going to use the probe, and perhaps if you can share it with uh, a neighbor or uh, some of your relatives that also are putting up hay, and perhaps share some of those costs. They can be expensive, so you want to do some shopping around make sure that you're getting one that works best for you. If you'll sample the hay this and every summer and have an idea of what's in that hay, match that supplementation to the hay, I think in the long run it'll save you some money and get those cows through the winter in good body condition. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.